Now every house has a garden hose, but what's attached to it is really going to determine whether it's water wasting or water conserving. Today on Garden Steps, we're going to talk about the concept of letting the plant determine what's best. Now building on that concept, let's look at a few options. First of all, if you're going to be watering containers, something like this really works out great. You've got a whole variety of different spreader settings or, or uh, opening settings in order to uh, make that come out, make the water come out differently. And then obviously something like this works really good for hard to reach containers, the hanging baskets and the like. Looking at small turf areas or for flower beds, these options are good ones because they really allow you to make some good adjustments here depending on the size and configuration of the bed. Vegetable gardens, that almost screams out soaker hose. Real advantage of this one is you're going to run it right down the row of beans or carrots or whatever you happen to be. And this way, just the roots get watered, not the foliage. And of course, as the pathologists always talk about, that's good for preventing plant diseases. Now, when it comes to putting water on your lawn, there are a couple of different categories. First of all, these are better for smaller areas, and these are better for larger areas. But just as important as that is the actual water going on the lawn. So when you hook this device up to your hose, stand out there in the lawn and watch it run for 10 minutes or so. And that way you can make sure that it isn't going into the street or onto the sidewalk and wasting water. The other thing you can make sure of is where to put the sprinkler the next time. Because by putting out some tuna cans, you can measure how much water is coming out on the lawn. And that way when you move it to the other side of the lawn, you'll know how much water to put on the other side. So you can be water conserving instead of water wasting.